Hi everybody, today we're going to go over how you can upload images from your PC to Instagram using an emulator called Bluestacks. And I put this together after doing a lot of online digging to try to figure out how to do this and running into conflicting information and then things that didn't work or things that could result in getting your Instagram account blocked, which obviously I didn't want to do that. So one thing to understand is Instagram has an API and if you violate the terms of service of their API use, that's where you can get into murky waters and get your account banned. And some of the products like Grambler and there's several other similar products that came out at the end of 2015, they actually use the API in an unauthorized fashion and that's how your account ends up getting banned. And you can just do some Google searches and you'll see folks that are dealing with that situation. So I wanted to avoid that possibility, obviously. And another thing that we ran across was using an emulator called Bluestacks. And the guides that I looked at online, I never could really get it working by following any other existing video or guide that I found. So I put together my own here that's pretty simple and will show you how to use this emulator to upload photos from your computer to Instagram. And since Bluestacks is an emulator, it's essentially a virtual Android device that the network can't tell it's any different than a physical hardware device. It doesn't use the API. Another thing I wanted to mention, a lot of the guides online mention changing your advanced camera settings. Well, both on my iPhone and in the emulator, I didn't have any advanced camera settings. So that got really confusing and didn't really work out. And I think maybe Instagram removed that to break this ability to upload from your computer. Now a couple reasons, legitimate reasons why you might want to upload from your desktop. Uh, if you're doing any post-production editing like adding a watermark to your image to protect it and at least have your website name or something on your images, you, you I don't know any way of doing that on an Android device, so you would do that on your laptop and then you would have to figure out a way to upload it. Or if you're a Photoshop expert and you're doing any other post-production editing, then you have the image on your laptop and you're trying to upload it as well. So let's just go over here and start up Bluestacks and we'll walk through how to do this. First, we're not going to go through the Bluestacks install. A couple times during the install, it seemed to time out when it was setting up accounts. And all I did was restart it and it would usually make it through the pieces where it seemed to stall. So after Bluestack is installed, you just double click on it here and you'll see it'll launch to a screen that looks just like an Android tablet. We have a Bluestacks menu bar here on the left. We're looking at an Android desktop and we'll just do a search for... And this is the free version. Uh, there's no real drawbacks to the free version. It does make you install some sponsored apps. And the paid version is really inexpensive and it gets you a lot better support. So I would encourage everybody to buy the paid version and support the guys that are developing this application. Now, we're looking at Instagram now just like it was on a tablet or on my phone. This is an Instagram account I'd already set up for test purposes. You see all the buttons down here at the bottom, just like you'd see on a normal Instagram on iPhone or Android, all the different settings. Over here is where you're supposed to see the advanced camera settings, and you see there's nothing there. So, how do we upload a picture? Well, we go over here to this left menu, and we see this folder that says Copy Files from Windows. We click on that. We go to where our images are. We're just going to pick this image, which is the road going into Skidmore, Missouri. We'll open that, 
And then we get a menu here that says, where do you want to send it to Facebook, Instagram, Picasso? This is where do we want to send it in Android. And we want to select Instagram. And I always pick just once here because the one time I picked always. And then, I don't know, it, the process seems a little different there. So I picked just once. And it'll send that image to Instagram. So again, I can full screen here now. And I should be, I'll be in Instagram looking at that picture just like I was on my Android device. So there's the picture. I click the little right arrow up on the top. Now, you know, you're just looking at your normal Instagram functionality. We're looking at the different filters we can use. We'll click the right arrow again. Some of the lag you're seeing is probably because this is a really ancient laptop. So we made it past the filter screen and now we can write our write our description and use our hashtag connect to all our other social media just like you would use an app. We click on the checkbox and then it will show you that image in Instagram. So now if I went on the internet or pulled up my iPhone that photo is uploaded to my Instagram. So we just walked through taking a photograph from my local machine using this little folder icon and uploading it to Instagram pretty seamlessly. Now the one drawback I've seen is it's still a one at a time deal. I don't I've not found any way to do bulk uploading here. So that can be a little bit tedious. Now the last thing I want to show you is when you close the BlueStacks emulator, you get this menu. And if it says, would you like to continue to receive notifications? So if I say yes, then when I close this, I would get the alerts from Instagram. They would pop up on my laptop here. So if I say yes here and I close this, and then somebody likes an image or follows me, I'll see a little uh, toast pop up that tells me that. If I don't want to see that on my laptop, I just want to close it and manage it from my phone, then I would click no here and close it. So, hope you enjoyed that. That's a quick, easy way to get images from your laptop uploaded to Instagram using BlueStacks. And remember, support your friendly developers try to do the paid version of BlueStacks. It's a great app and the paid version is relatively cheap. Also, if you got any value from this, please follow my YouTube channel. Thank you.